celebration of Miss Cherry and Plachette. Plachette has turned 55 and Miss Cherry has turned 74. We are so excited to be able to gather with friends and family this evening at the high top rooftop bar in Los Angeles, California to celebrate the two of them. Enjoy the festivities. So yeah, uh, they they said they just about to arrive. You know what I'm saying? They said they was about to have that shit on. So let's see. They about to hit the corner any second. Um, but we just gonna rate them one by one, y'all. It's Cherry Bill's birthday. It's Plachette Roberts' birthday. Shout out to Sac Culture Hub. She got money, man. She did us a whole extravaganza up there. You know what I'm saying? Set menus and a whole shebang. Two black people that just showed up. Heavenly, my niece, and her boyfriend Cameron. Get close up. Get a close up of him right now. She probably stole her whole outfit. Come on. Okay, there you have it. We got two people here so far. Black people around late. Our party started at 6.15. It's about 7 o'clock. So you know how that goes. Two people here at 25 to go. Let's go. How much you want to bet that they didn't pay for nothing that they got on? She just hopped out the car. They're doing valet. So when they walk up, I'm going to uh, run, give y'all a rundown on their outfit. In this family, we like to see who dresses best uh, for certain occasions. So uh, she looks like she's wearing a beige uh, corset and uh, white bell bottoms and a beige purse. So we'll give Heavenly a few minutes to walk on up. We're still waiting for the main attraction to arrive, Lachette and Cherry. Um, but you know, like I said, black people, we arrive in fashion, fashionably late. All right, here they go, y'all. Let's get the camera and face them. We got Cameron and Heavenly. Oh, look at Cameron with the with the teal hat and the stylish glasses. Let's not give it too much, Jeffrey Dahmer. And then look at the glasses. No, I like the glasses. Look at the look at this is vintage. This is real nice. And then he got the white sweats on, the classic Nikes. He looking good. You know what I'm saying? To all white parties, we're all white. It's just you know whatever. Check her out. Look at Heavenly with the Bayang, looking amazing. She got on the leather corset with the uh, slacks. You know she get any job in those. Let's see. Ooh, Cinderella Hills. She better not lose one tonight. You guys look amazing. We're waiting on the rest of everybody to get here. Thank you. Look at me with the custom cherry shit on. Come on now. Let's get it. Oh, right, wait. Okay, there they go. All right, y'all. We're about to walk up on a car right now. TMZ. Hey. All right, y'all. Look. The, the ladies, they here, man. They here. Look. Step on out the car so I can rate your outfits on the count of one to ten. Hello, Candace. Pop out. Black people be having that shit on, man. Look, look, check around the all white. It's looking like a bunch of angels hopping out this car right now. Okay, give us a spin real quick. Ooh, wee, let's go. All white, baby. What's happening? You are looking amazing. This is Candace, y'all. Period. All right, we waiting for the next person to hop out. How are y'all not ready? Okay, now, looks like Plachette chose the 10-inch dress instead of the long one, y'all. First of all, the first dress she had on went all the way to the ankles, but now I'm seeing something above the knee. Damn! Look at her. Okay! Plachette, here she goes, CEO. Give him a quick spin. We got the full sparkle. Okay, check me out. Okay? I got represent. Uh, look at the camera. Plachette has on some Bottega heels. Give him a quick spin, please. And look at the bob. Looking amazing. Look at the camera. Yeah, the purse ain't giving, y'all, but she looks great. That's right. All right, here we have Queen 90 Cherry. Okay, y'all, 74. Pop out. Pop out with the shit now. Let's go. Come on. Go ahead. She got on a crop top. Give him a spin. Okay. Let's go. 
the all white sequin with the silver sequin below it. Just the fuck. Hey, look, this is my favorite person right here. Twyla about to hop out. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Look at Miss Twyla. Just always show stopping. Go look at Kayla's earring. Oh, yeah, she got the snake boots on with the lovely dress. It's hugging the curves. Twyla always, Twyla always show stops, okay? She always looks at you too. All the, the snake, snake, it's just black as a beautiful. All righty. And this is Cousin Mia. Let's, let's get it. Okay. With the red heels, with the all white, looking good. Let's get Cousin Mia right here. Check, check these girls out. Look at this right here. Pop it. Oh, what's happening, y'all? Okay, yeah. We still got two more people to come. Yeah, man, man, it's Stephanie. It's all these people can't fit one photo, Blachette. Let's cut it out. All right, y'all, look at all this blackness. I'm telling y'all, we can change that land, turn it to the south real quick with all this black, this melanin right here. I'm the next host of the Hub Choice Awards. They coming. party girl I just wanted to know how you're doing the cameraman wants me to get a quick put the damn camera away now and put this in there it doesn't matter you guys look great it's no orange going on in your makeup no we're doing a video and I want to ask how you're doing oh I'm doing great Gigi and I want to let you know you're doing a great job oh you're wearing Tucci's necklace Tucci is with us I had to get another one yeah Yes, so we are here at the highlight room. Me and my mom come over here, Miss Cherry. Cherry, how you feeling? Hey, like the bomb oh, tonight. Hi. I am the bomb. All right, y'all, we're going to head upstairs, y'all. Let's get going. Okay, let's get the night started. People, it's cold, Blachette. Put the hot, put the tripod away. Happy birthday to my mom. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday to a real queen. I have so many memories because I've been knowing them all of my life, but most recently you guys would drive all the way from Sacramento to take dance class, African dance class in Oakland. But with that being said, I just have way too many memories because we also went to elementary school together. Really? We lived around the corner from each other. Wow. So these, these two beautiful ladies have always been a part of my family indirectly wow. or directly. So oh, I love you guys beautiful. and thank you again for allowing me and my daughter to share this Aww. weekend with you guys. It means a lot to me. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I would say, um, I don't know how long ago it was when Pachette was doing her fashion shows. So my brother was in the fashion show, which was how I met Pachette. And I yeah, would just always right. say that Pachette has always been the same person. When she's waking up in the morning, talking about, hi, you guys. Yeah. Come on, my children. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, Good morning. All the time. Yeah. Same way, all the time. Big heart, big spirit, wonderful person. Just a truly genuine, big hearted, beautiful person. Yes. Yeah. And Cherry, we took our first trip together when we went to, is that Cancun? Oh my God. It looked and like Yes. It was Cancun or Jamaica? Cancun. 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 Oh. Beautiful. And she's just a beautiful person and, you know, so a good uh, <laughs> feeling as a mother. So you can say it to Yes. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Bandit. Amen. Cheers to that. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Cheers. Next down the line. 
So I haven't known like either of you for so long. You all have been a part of my family for so long. So I'm happy I got to finally meet you all. And today was so beautiful. I don't know, just walking around Santee Alley with you all. And you get to know each other. And then seeing y'all both come down the steps and take your pictures. I loved it. It was beautiful. I'm happy to call y'all family. Okay, Miss Twyla. <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting Flechette a lifetime ago. Now it seems, right? Uh, it's it's crazy. 15 years ago, I got a phone call from Flechette when she was starting the Black Women's Brunch. And she, right, it was what the Exceptional Women of Color Conference was called before the, yeah, it was initially called the Black Women's Brunch. Yeah. And so she asked me to come aboard and to assist with that and also to assist with SAC Hub and taking it to the next level. And I have been really blessed to be on this journey and watching you personally and professionally. And not only did I gain you as a colleague, I gained you as a sister and a friend and that is more valuable to me than anything in the world. I love you so much. Uh, okay. In addition to that, your generosity and your heart to share your family and your mother with me is really touching. And so I've also gained another mother, Nandi. I love you. Uh, so happy 74. <laughs> Happy 55th. Thank you. Yeah. Praise God. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm new to the family, so um, I mean, you know, with the little bit of memories that we've been able to share, I can't have a specific moment because every moment has been a blessing. Oh, and just happy <laughs> <laughs> But thank you for making me feel welcome and a part of the family, and I just really appreciate you. Aww, happy birthday. <laughs> I will make it short. Okay, so um, I just have to say, coming up, being raised by you, Tucci, and mom, um, I probably wouldn't be as seasoned as I am, and as much of a hustler as I am. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to make it in LA if I wasn't raised by y'all three and just seeing y'all like y'all had hella kids. Come on. Okay. <laughs> So the fact that y'all was able to raise us um, and then still do what y'all do today is the reason why I'm such a hustler and why I got um, a handful of things that I could do if I touch anything. It's going to go gold. That goes for all of us. We are just hella talented people. So Flechette and Mommy, y'all have saved me financially in so many ways until I was able to save myself. So, you know, as all of y'all kids, we just going to fight hard to do the same for y'all. Happy birthday. And thank y'all for... Um, just always being here for us and just always holding the fort down. All three of y'all, you know. Right. That's it, you know. We are who we are today because of y'all. Thank you. So beautiful. Oh, you got the hood, girl. Beautiful. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. right. Why y'all stars? Shining like more. <laughs> I was trying to think what I was going to say. But I honestly, I don't know what to say, Mom. Like, you have provided so much for us all of us and so many resources you always have introduced me to the most successful phenomenal people to look up to like Miss Twyla and I've been around them since I was a young girl so I really look up to you for providing the best life for us and me and my sister um, I admire the relationship that you guys have. I tell my mom all the time, I want a relationship like you and Nandi. <laughs> and I want to be close like you guys, but it's honestly so beautiful to see. Uh, I just soak it in every time I'm around you guys, Nandi. I love to see how creative you are. I see you pass down your creativity to all of us. Every time I'm around you, I'm like, that's where I get it from. Right. Every time. Yeah. So happy birthday. Beautiful.
Okay, brand new jeans. I'm a pass. I'm a pass. <laughs> on check it, is out. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. No. Um, I mean, what I have to say to you guys, my queens like you, starting from Ardeen Brown, you know, um, you guys come from an origin of strong, 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 strong black women, like the monkey of all this at this table. So that's what I look up to in this world, and I feel like I'm just blessed to have y'all in my life to look up to. Um, my two Libras, y'all are so artistic and so energized and so inspired by everything in life. And despite the struggles that y'all went through, nothing has broke y'all down like they should have. You know what I mean? Because I don't know anybody that will go through a lot of the stuff that y'all went through raising all of us and what we took you through. So, um, yeah, y'all some strong women and you guys deserve everything that is coming to y'all. For sure, you are amazing. Thank you, man. What you do for the community and what you do for your family. Thank you what you do for mom. Like, you're amazing. Amazing. Well, thank you. Happy birthday. Okay, my turn. Happy birthday. So I'll start with Nundi. I was just telling Cameron the other day, I was like, I hope that one day I can live like my grandma. My grandma right. has no health issues. My grandma hey. is living life at age. Yeah. So yeah. that is my ideal goal is yeah. to be her when I get to seven. Okay, because she's Man. doing it. Um, Another memory I have with Pochette, I remember I was in sixth grade and I was really overweight and I remember during summer break she would come and pick me up and we would work out and we'd go to the gym and I lost a lot of weight and I honestly feel like that's where I get my motivation to work out and to lose weight is to see her and Nani always active, always taking care of their health. So. Happy birthday. I love you both so much. Is that a tear? <laughs> uh, I gained an auntie and a grandma, Nundi, through this lovely, beautiful woman. And I'm so grateful because you start my mornings every morning in my household. <laughs> We working out with you. <laughs> and then to see Nandi as a co-host is our special. We love that. We love that. So I'm so blessed to be a part of your family. I'm so blessed to know you both. And so blessed to know that I'm here to celebrate lives that continue every day and inspire all of us here doing it. So thank you for including me. Thank you. God bless. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so mom, I just want to say, first of all, happy birthday. Like, honestly, I could cry because you have been such an inspiration in so many different ways. You just so like a go getter. Every time I call you, you're like, yep, I just finished in the gym, girl. How's your day, <laughs> I'm like, damn, I'm just waking up. Um, honestly, growing up, it was always like, it was just a lot. You know, we had a rocky relationship the whole, my whole childhood. And I feel like our relationship, we just kind of just grew tighter from just me leaving and me turning 18 and we've been so close. And I just feel like, I just love you so much. Aww. And yes. you just inspire me in so many different ways. And just seeing you guys live your life, you going on vacation, right. taking all these trips, you guys working out, enjoying yourself, enjoying y'all, just everything. And it hurts sometimes because I always just think about Tucci. You know, like yeah. oh, of course. It, it yeah. just it, that definitely hurts a lot. But I'm just proud of both of you, Nundi. I feel like I am you. Oh. Anyway, you know, you know, in a way, you are me, and like cut it. Just happy birthday, and you ladies just inspire us on so many different levels. And yeah, happy birthday. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. All right, so do we sing the black version of happy birthday now? Not yet. We had a cake up, but now we got to switch it up. I want to talk. Yeah. I was going to say, and now I want you ladies to take the floor. I'm going to talk. I'm going to let nothing be last. But again, I already stated some things in um, our ride over as before we got here. But now that we're all here together, I know we're still missing two other people. I hope they do show up. But um, I have just really enjoyed everything that was just stated right here. It's like a state of euphoria because when you have this much love 
coming from your family members and your closest of friends, it, it makes you feel very valued. It makes yeah. you feel like you have a purpose, you are here, and you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. Sometimes you don't always feel like you are doing what you're supposed to be doing or you're doing enough. Okay, and um, I, I do feel my sister Tucci here with us. Yes. And um, I just wanna really thank you guys for being here. And um, I, I'm, I'm going at a loss for words right now because yeah. I'm getting ready to hand it over to Nundi. But again, each and every one of you, you know how special you are to me especially my daughters, my mom, my friends, and my relatives that are here at this table. Gosh. Um, <laughs> Hang it up. God has blessed me. All I can say is God has blessed me immensely. He has, because I live for all of you guys. I really do. I live, I try to live life to its fullest, even though when you feel everything upon you, but because you have family, like, you know, I cannot remember Tucci's words, but fam, no matter how rich you can become, it could never, money could never take the place of family. I may not be rich, I may not be rich in family. Not here. That's how I ended. That's how I ended. Yes. Go ahead, mom. Yes. And who said that? Tucci. Tucci said yes. that. And yeah. She said what? I may not be rich in family, but I will always be rich I in possessions. I may not be rich in possessions, but I will always be rich in family. Yeah. Okay, girl. Okay, show you. Okay, okay. Well, um, it's truly a blessing from the Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And, you know, it's amazing right now because, you know, sometimes it's life, you know, brings a lot of trouble. And um, a lot of times you don't feel like you're worthy of a lot of things. But when family comes together like this, it reminds you of how blessed you really truly are. And um, I have a group of ladies that uh, we study the Bible. And I encourage every each and every one of you to pick up your Bible and start reading from the beginning to the end. Somebody had to tell me that, that was from Africa and I was troubled at the time and this client told me a young girl she said she was from Kenya she said read the Bible from the beginning to the end and um, you know we scan over it a lot yeah, you know we scan over it but you're skipping a lot of things because from Genesis to Revelation mm, we'll tell you all about the beginning and the end yeah and so I'm going to make a long story short. Please. My sisters told me, you know, when I say I'm blessed, they say you're blessed and highly favored. Amen. You know, and that just resonate, resonates with me in my heart how much God loves us. Yep. We don't realize it unless we invest time into reading his word. And so... You know, when we're feeling like we're alone, we're not alone. We're always, God is always with us. Mm -hmm. You know, but he wants us to acknowledge him and his kingdom. He wants us to, you know, it's like if Plachette never called her mom and she never, you know, kept in contact with me, I would feel very hurt. Mm. And so that's how God feels when his children don't call on him and talk to him speak you know and 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 pray you know sometimes we just so it, like we don't want to get out on our knees but we could go running we could go bike riding we could go dancing we could go this we can go that 
But when it comes to prayer time, we're like, oh, Lord, have mercy. I just don't have it today. Or I'm too tired. But, you know, you got to spend time because each and one, every one of us needs prayer. You know, I have to pray for her and for her and for him and for him and him, all of us. We have to pray for one another, right, you know, right. because you see how the world is going today? Yes. You know, it's like, I, I see these streets in LA filled with homeless and, you know, destitute people. And I'm like, Lord, if you can't do nothing but pray for them, you're doing something. You know, if you don't have no money, if you can't stop because you're writing by, you can say, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, and, and this girl right here, she's my wake up. She's my. She's a sergeant. Uh, she's <laughs> my. And all my children. Somebody said, who's your favorite? I said, all of them. Yeah. Or every last one of them. I have. But no who favorite. is your favorite, though? I have no favorites. I have no favorites. You know, it's just that Plachette is like my first <laughs> one, and um, she takes care of me. You know, and so I recognize her as being, you know, like the head of the family sometimes. You know, so. I just, you know, I give all praises to my daughter, to all of her sisters that are backing her up. And I'm finna shut up because Candace falling asleep. <laughs> I want everyone to know this is Latanya Scott, my very best friend. From like the third grade, Willow Oaks, okay? <laughs> We grew up together. She lived two um, blocks away from me. Yeah. Okay. And we uh, we went through everything together as best friends. Oh yes. my God. Yes. So she was Latanya Jones when I met her. Yes. She's Latanya Scott now. Yes. With five children? No. Three children. Oh, three. One husband. <laughs> Thirty-two. Years. I know it was one husband, <laughs> but I, I don't know why I thought you had five. Five. We, they're all grown. All grown. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, it has been many moons that we have seen each other. Oh my gosh. Oh it's my been gosh. at least forty years. Has it been? That long? Maybe thirty. Oh my Maybe gosh. Maybe because. Latanya, when um, I turned about 17, she was already going to UCLA, and I actually I'm that stayed. Old, but I'm not older than. I'm not no, we're the same older. age. Okay, okay. Right, right, right. But you were. She was already in college, and I was yes. in community college, and I was transferring. So I stayed with Latanya for two weeks before I was to go to oh, yes. Cal State LA. Oh my God. Oh my God. It was like the okay. best time. I was so really? scared though. Oh, oh my God, were. I had, I was, I was scared to death of college and being away from home. But oh. this was a heroine. I mean, she was taking school, college by storm. Oh, stop this. Did you hear stop. me? Stop. Yes, she was. Can we talk about this one <laughs> now? Can we talk? I actually wanted to come here and I drove far to get yes. here, but I wanted to come to tell you that I've never told you that, but you were my best friend. Oh. I mean, not that you were, but I consider you a best friend mm. and I have seen her. I am so proud of her. She is just the, you are just the boss woman. <laughs> oh, um, we went through so much together. We did. You were there we for did. me. And I feel like I want you to know I'm there for you. I'm your biggest cheerleader. I love her. Oh, God, that means Even the world from to me. The, from afar, we can go years without yes. talking or seeing each other, but you are you're here in my heart. You are part of me. You are part of my past wow. and my future. And I just love you. I'm so proud of her. She is just awesome. Every time winning all these awards and just doing things. And and you did that. To hear you, you did say that. All of this is amazing. What it do you is mean? So, she did it's that because herself. again, I remember when we were just kids. I know. We were just you know trying to find our way. Yes. yes. <laughs> and we and we are here. And you are at the high. You are at the at the top of your. This is your night. This is your time. And I'm so proud of you. Happy birthday, friend. Aww.
And I and and Miss Sherry, she was there. She was there, and I just remember coming over your house, and we would make French fries. And then, wait, <laughs> coming over to your house, and you was always tricky too. <laughs> I remember. And I loved her. I just loved their family unit. They were just so. You guys just, you know, you were just everything I didn't have. So Aww. I just want you to know that I appreciate. I really appreciate. It. Thank you. And I just love all of this and everything. Okay, so let me. All right, we have some birthdays here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy 